Hello everyone, this is Surpiel and that's the video about Wappen von Hamburg preview and the gameplay. That will start in about 3 minutes, but first there will be uh, lots of the uh, models and uh, photos presenting the ship originally. So basically Wappen von Hamburg uh, was uh, recently added to the game 4th uh, rate, in real life it was a 3rd rate, and uh, it was gifted for all of the players in Naval Action uh, on the New Year's Eve. So that's pretty kind from the developers and that's also a gift for, for all, of, all of the German players and there is a lot of German players in this game, they are like top 2 uh, buyers from the nations across the world. So that's how the developers wanted to, uh, let's say, pay them back. And there we have Wappen von, Par Wappen von Hamburg, the third one because there have been two before it and there was also one consecutive, the fourth version of this ship. This one is the Wappen von Hamburg launched on 1822. It was ordered by Ho Holy Roman Empire, it was used for the convoys as an escort and it was used only twice. Uh, actually it was always under crude and not with the full uh, equipment of the, gun of the gunnery. So, in different historical sources you will find many information about that. Um, the ship also kind of reminds of an Galeon to be honest. The draft is very high, big. Uh, the, the ship profile is also, let's say, high. And uh, actually the, the ship is uh, also kind of short, it's, it's not long. So it looks... Uh, pretty it has a characteristic look we have the very nice and well done uh, holes for the cannons I'm not sure how, how is it called in English sorry for for my lack of the professionalism but basically this ship compared to the other four freights in the game it was probably adjusted by the developers in statistics so it's, you can compare it uh, to other four phrase and it's playable. Also, the ship has lots of the haters and l some of the... There, there's also a side where there are lovers of the ship. Uh, on which side I am? Actually, I, I like the ship myself. The ship is uh, really nice, it's different from other ships, it's, it has its own soul. Now, let's start with the gameplay, but uh, during the gameplay I'll be most likely, you know, uh, comparing the ship, how it looks like, how it plays, and how it performs in the fight, in the combat. So, uh, I'm, I must admit that the ship is uh, pretty high, it's very high, so it's, uh, it'll be an easy target uh, in a combat would be not really hard to hit it and also it's a struggle uh, to hit smaller ships and not only smaller ships but also even other four freights like uh, Constitution, Irgmanland, Agamemnon so the problem is that the top cannons or coronates are placed so high that they might be hitting sails when, when the wave approaches your ship hits your ship or uh, when you do not adjust your elevation before shooting a broadside so that's only uh, I would say ship that should be maybe used by more experienced players because they know how to man the ship, how to control it how to control the elevation and uh, from the other things uh, the paint of the ship I, it's, it's the original paint and I really love it uh, because I don't know, it looks awesome. The, uh, the blue stripe uh, gives it a nice look, and the these little holes for the guns at the top that are around it, uh, I also like them a lot. About the um, gunnery, uh, the ship has less firepower than uh, than Irgemanland, as far as I know, and Agamemnon. 
or maybe I, I, it should have similar uh, firepower to Agamemnon, but basically it has uh, the highest number of the cannons among all four freights. So when can it be helpful? It can be maybe helpful when you want to grab or chain enemy ship. Uh, that's one one of the uh, reasons why it can be uh, helpful because uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of cannon is it when you're trying to grab or or chain. It's uh, the effect is always pretty the same when you hit and. Uh, one of the other things is that uh, the top cannons or carnades can hit uh, the top deck of the weather deck, top deck of other ships, especially bigger ships, so they can uh, wipe or kill more crew than just hitting the, the side of the ship. Also, one of the biggest, biggest advantages of the ship is the turn rate. The, the basic turn rate of the ship is 3.0 and with optimized rudder it becomes 3.22 if I'm correct and this makes the ship just uh, so maneuverable that uh, it can outperform uh, in turning other four freights by a lot I think other four freights have the turn rate of around 2.2, uh, 2.4 maybe at best 2.5 upgrades I don't know it should be around this so the difference is huge and that's that that's going to be the main reason why players are using the ship uh, if not just because of the passion of using this and from the love but uh, as I said uh, you can you can see here the top cannons carnades are hitting the weather deck of the puzzle so I'm getting uh, some crew kills that's at least what I believe is happening and also the four stern chasers 68 pounders killing 70 crew from the ball rake and what's really great about this ship is that I have four ball chasers and four, ball, four stern chasers so uh, if I can think about the ship that has the same armament of of bow and stern chasers, it only reminds me of Laotian, which has also four stern and bow cannons, chasers, or carnades, whatever you prefer. And uh, that's also a huge, ad uh, huge, uh, huge advantage of the ship, I would say. Um, some people would say that it's it's not a big factor, two more, two less not a huge difference but for me that matters a lot it can uh, change the outcome of the fight sometimes other than that um, the the ship has a very characteristic bow uh, bow sprit I, I mean which is uh, let's say kind of an old style also the the whole ship is built in an old style uh, which gave us, gave us a characteristic look Sometimes it reminds me a bit of the Galons, uh, but not that much. The bow spread um, is similar to the one that Ingermanon has. The ships have a lot of in common, I would say. Um, they're not very similar, but uh, the bow spreads are similar. The, the length of the ship is the firepower, and mm, the looks a bit of, I would say, similar, to be honest. Uh, what else? Actually, uh, I said by accident bow. What I mean, uh, what I can say now about the bow. Bow, uh, bow shows us uh, Poseidon. That's also one of the things that uh, players have been asking lately uh, because they could not really notice what what's at the bow. Now you can see by controlling my elevation and keeping a small distance, I can actually very well hit the uh, the smaller ships. Um, now then it comes also to the penetration and bouncing so not all of the balls are actually penetrating unless I use double charge which gives me uh, better effects after all one of the things also that uh, lots of players complain about that ship is 
its speed. It's, it has to be mentioned because the speed of the ship is terrible. It's, I believe, uh, I can't recall exactly, but that's the slowest for freight. Like a Memon is faster, Igamonat is faster, Constitution is faster. Vapen von Hamburg is the slowest for freight in the game. This might be adjusted in the future, I don't know. Or maybe it was intended to be like that. But after all, uh, the speed is not such a huge factor in the combat, like 0.3 knots, 0.4 knots. When you're in a heavy combat, brawling between ships, the speed does not really matter that much, trust me. So, I, most of the players that love this ship don't really care about, about its speed, because what gives us advantage, as I said, is turning and maneuvering. The speed becomes uh, a lesser factor for all the bigger ships, uh, starting with the uh, ships of the line and semi-ships of the line. What, what I call semi-ships of the line, or what other people call them, is of course the Agamemnon, Ingermanland and Wappen von Hamburg now. The ships that are in game 4th rates, but in, your, in real life they used to be 3rd uh, rates and called ships of the line. So that, that's one of my points of the view about the ship. Um, one of the things that I notice is that uh, I'm not sure about this, I have no extra information, but uh, I think that I have a theory that the magazine of Wappen von Arbor can be uh, very vulnerable because during one fight, this exactly fight, uh, my friend had uh, damaged the magazine twice and it, 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 he did not explode because if, if the mag magazine would become red it means he would explode instantly, die, lose his ship, it would be like without even a warning. He could not even try to repair this. It used to happen in the game with other ships like Snow or uh, different ships but it's a very low chance. So when during one fight the magazine gets destroyed uh, twice, it becomes yellow. The question if, is if it's just you know a bad luck or and coincidence or if it's uh, working like that or maybe it will be tuned in the future if it happens uh, more often than it's supposed to be. So keep in mind <laughs> that one day your weapon from farm book might just explode, go poof and disappear and you will lose of course your officer's life but uh, I've never ha heard of this happening so far only heard about uh, the magazine getting uh, slightly damaged, not destroyed. So that might be just a rumor from me. Okay, what else can I say about the ship? As I said, it, it, it looks just beautiful. The majestic look of the ship uh, kind of reminds me also about the yacht, which, which has the same uh, the same uh, openings for the cannons. And also, the yacht is, uh, has lots of, you know, uh, paintings uh, and it looks like you know a ship that that's looking awesome uh, so Wappen von, ha von Hamburg gives me the same kind of feeling I don't know really how how can I rate this ship in overall because players players are using this ship uh, in four battles already it, it's allowed to enter four battles and uh, it's been most of the time the main target in four battles because it's pretty easy to, to sink it or to hit it uh, because it's a huge target. So I don't know if I would recommend using this ship but uh, I can say only that in that particular ship I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun fighting in it and uh, giving me a power to turn that quickly. I did not lose any durability so far and I was in uh, several fights in this ship, it was performing very well. The only problem, as I mentioned, that, that was annoying for me was the uh, overshooting my targets, as I had to lower uh, or use the wind advantage of healing my ship to hit enemy ships, so uh, most of the balls would hit actually the ship and not sails, not overshoot the side. So I would rate this ship uh, 
as um, exact form on the place with the Ingerman land. Maybe personally I would rate this ship much higher than Ingerman land because I don't know why I don't like Ingerman land that much. And Wappen von, Ma von Hamburg is a similar ship but on the other hand I really love this one. But I cannot say that it's better than like a memo in most aspects of the important games and game modes. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.